Hey guys, my name is Eric and today I'm going to be going over the all new Remington HC4250. I'm going to go over its pros and cons and why I think it's actually the best shortcut clipper set for home use. So what makes the Remington HC42 different from the competition? I really think it has to do with its overall design. The cool thing about this Remington clipper is the natural curve that goes with the blade that actually contours to the natural curves of your head. So I really like that feature as you can see here it curves. In the past I used to have this right here, the Peanut Classic. You may have used it yourself. It worked for a while but when it comes to buzzing your head there's just so many curves in your head that this straight blade just began to come uncomfortable. So in addition, the Remington also comes with nine interchangeable guards ranging from a guard number five all the way down to a guard number zero. Of course, you can always also remove the guards so you just use a straight clipper itself if you're planning to just go you know, as close to the skin as you can, which it really does do quite a good job of that. The next thing it comes with is the charging cable, of course. It's actually got a nice reach so you could charge it wherever you are also comes with a carrying case which you can use to take it on the go. Now the only downside is the carrying case does not fit all the guards, it just carries the actual Remington clipper itself, but that's better than nothing, right? The last two things it comes with are the brush which you can use to remove hair from the clipper itself to keep it from getting clogged, as well as the lubricating oil and it is recommended that you lubricate it after each use to keep the blades well oiled. Another cool feature with this Remington is the actual bottom of the clippers. You could see right here, let me see if you could see that. Okay, so if you could see that, on the bottom you could actually clip this off just like that. And what it allows you to do is clean out the hair from the inside. So you could just clean it out with water. You could even run water through this. It's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. And that really helps with the longevity of your device, it allows it to stay clean and gets smoother cuts after each use. Now let's talk battery life. Everyone always wants to know what's the battery life on these clippers. Well, I gotta say the battery life is pretty good. Prior to purchasing this Remington, there was actually an older model called the Remington SC100 and I was reading reviews on that one. People really liked it. The only thing they disliked was the battery. The battery life on that thing was not that great and the bad thing really was when it ran out of battery, you had to fully charge it for four hours before you could use it again. Pretty much made it useless if you forgot to charge it, right? Well, I guess Remington really listened to the people's feedback because they really stepped it up with this new model. The great thing about this new model is not only the improved design, but when the battery runs out, you can also use it while it's plugged in, a thing you couldn't do on the previous model. And that's pretty much all there is to say about the Remington 4250. Is it the best clipper on the market? I don't know. I don't have much experience. I've just used this and prior to that the Peanut Classic. But for me it gets the job done. In terms of price, it really comes in at a good price. I think it's about 50 bucks right now on Amazon. You could check it out, I'll put the link in the description. The design, I'd say that's top notch for the price. And the battery is definitely an improvement over the previous model, the SC100. So now I'm gonna show you a quick demonstration of putting the Remington HC4250 to use. I'm gonna be doing a quick buzz on my hair so you can see how easy it is. It's really fast and hope you guys get a better idea of how this thing actually operates. Alright guys, so I'm going to do the quick demo now of the Remington. The first guard I'm going to be using is the number zero guard. Just clips on like that. And I'm going to be doing that on the sides. 